Good morning traders, I hope everyone is good. So within this video, I'm going to go over the indicators that I use and my setup for TradingView. Obviously, it's quite important that you have a personal and good setup as this is what you're going to be looking at every single day. So as you know, I have my session lines on here, which um, marks the open of Tokyo, London and New York. I'll go through that indicator and those settings. Also as well, I have the Asia range, which is drawn on again by an indicator. I used to have to do all of this by hand, but over the trading years, I've discovered these indicators, which makes life so much easier and they are drawn on automatic, which prevents you from having to do it every single morning yourself. So um, first off, I'm just gonna talk about the background. Um, so the reason that I have the background gray is just because Looking at the chart all day, every day, if you have it like a bright white, it's going to hurt your eyes. Um, so if I just go to appearance and you can see just background, I've got like a nice solid gray. Um, across here is um, black and it is a clear line because I like to see areas on the chart and have a look on the um, higher time frame. So obviously on the, the micro and the macro as well and use my cross here for that. I don't have a watermark on. Um, and my vertical grids and horizontal grids are off. So that's the background that I use, solid color, just to get that gray color there, which I think is a lot easier on the eyes, especially with how long we're on the charts. Then um, moving on to my candles. So um, candles, body for is blue for up and black for a down candle. Um, I prefer this to red and green just because I think it has a, red and green has a sort of, psycho, a sort of psychological um, side to it. Whereas, you know, you always associate things going against you as red and things going well as green. Um, and actually I think it's a lot clearer and it's a lot nicer for me just to have the blue and black candles because it removes that psychology side of it. Um, and yeah, if price is going against you, I find that if your candles are a different color, it doesn't have that negative, um, connotation as it ordinarily would do as a normal trader and everything that you've seen online um, throughout the years. So blue, it's a light blue for the up candle and then it's a black for the down candle. And then also borders are black on both and the wicks are black on both as well. So they're the candles. Now moving on to um, the sessions. So these sessions are important because again, especially with my strategies, we trade in different sessions. So it's important to know when these sessions are opening and closing. So first of all, just to say, I have a session open for London at eight o'clock, then for New York at two o'clock, and then for Tokyo at midnight. Now I know a lot of you will say, well, hang on a minute, the sessions are opening slightly different times. The times that I have them on is when we see the volume in the market and when we see the moves and the institutional moves. So it's a tactical as to why it's these specific times. Um, and obviously I'm UTC. So if you are in a different time zone, then you will have to um, calculate what time it would need to be for you. However, I recommend for those that aren't trading in UTC to keep your chart in UTC, even if you're five hours ahead or behind, have it as UTC because it's a lot easier to identify knowing that these are the actual times of session opens. So to get these session um, lines on, then what you're going to download is a indicator called SFL session opens. And you can see without it, it's a little bit lost with it, it makes things a lot clearer. And let me go now with these settings. So you can enable Tokyo, enable London, you can remove certain sessions if you want to. Um, if you're in a trade in New York, you can remove London and Tokyo. Um, and you can have these whatever color you want. Though I keep mine, or I mean, you can have it purple. That's you can just see on the chart, New York's gone purple. Um, I like to keep mine quite um, plain and simple. I don't want to detract from price action because I'm a price action trader. So I want everything to be about the candles. Um, so these are my settings so far. When the clocks go forward and backwards, you have to adjust them, but always know it's going to be midnight, 8 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then if we go over to style, you can see labels. Labels will put on whether it's Tokyo, London or New York. Obviously, let you want the lines on. And that's basically it. And it will draw them on automatically for you 
when that session opens and finishes. So SFL session opens on there. And then um, we have the Asia range. So again, I used to have to draw this box on every single morning, whereas now I have an indicator that will do it automatically for me. And that's called Sonar Lab Sessions. So you can see, look, without it, that's where it is. With it, it makes it a lot clearer. We know exactly when and where we're trading when we've both got the session lines on and the Asia range. So the Sonar Lab Sessions, there are quite a few settings. So what I suggest you do is pause this or screenshot it and go through and adjust your settings. Now I have my Asia, my Asia range, look, even though it says seven to three, that, that's not what it equates to on the chart. Asia range is midnight until 8 a.m. But obviously given the time difference, that's what you have to put, on, put in to get the range um, to be highlighted between Asia and London. Now, London um, Asia range does finish at eight o'clock. So instead of, you can see here, if I just go to, um, let me think, 7.45. I So ordinarily, you would have the range coming to here where my cross here is. But the reason that I have it 15 minutes before Asia close is because I like to see what the wick is doing. So you can see this wick on the line here. Um, you wouldn't be able to see that if you had the Asia range closing there. And it's extremely important to understand what that wick is doing at eight o'clock in the morning um, on this range. So I have mine just on there 15 minutes before. It's entirely up to you. If you want to change it, you can change it for yourself. Um, but you can say obviously display end session, sorry, session end. You've got Asia on here as well. My line color is of course black and um, background color is gray, the same as um, my background color. So background to Asia session is, is the same as that. Look, you can change it to whatever you want. Um, however, I prefer it gray, you know, change it to anything, right? Just so it's obvious. I know a lot of people have like different color combinations. Um, but so far again, so it doesn't detract from price action. I like to keep it um, quite neutral. You can also, if you wanted, put London sessions on, um, New York sessions on, whatever you want to do. But for me, I solely use it for Asia range. Style as well, you can just copy this um, if you want. Again, pause it and that will draw automatically for you. Start at 12 o'clock and then finish um, at eight o'clock in the morning. So that's Sonar Lab Sessions. And then the only other indicator that I use is the um, 50 EMA. That's it, they're the sessions there. Um, very, very simple for those that um, are used to using EMAs. And I just find it's extremely helpful with reading price action on daily, weekly, and four hour as well. Don't use it necessarily below that. And that's it. And it's going to make your life a hell of a lot easier. Oh, and one more is the Gambox. So again, we use Gambox for our entries. And um, when you first open the Gambox, which is over here, you're going to have all of these ticks and it's going to look really messy in all these numbers. Um, so you can see I've simplified it just so we have the blue and the purple together. So you want to have zero ticked and mine is black, um, which is obviously the um, border and outline of that. And then we've got, I've got purple for the top and I have light blue for the bottom. You can see my background um, is slightly dimmed down. Again, you can see these down here as well. I've removed all time labels as well. If you start putting these time, you can see all these come on. We don't need any of that. I mean, you can have a play around with it in terms of what you like. Um, yeah, and that's it. Again, for the Gambox, that's exactly what I use and the colors that I use. So um, I hope that answers everybody's questions as I get people asking me every single day. Um, a lot of people asking me every single day. So I wanted to do the video just so we've all got the same um, chart setups and it makes it a hell of a lot easier to be staring at your chart a long time with these colors that I've got here. So have a great day and I'll catch you on the next video.